Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you a little bit about glitch boxes and a uh, different way to create one. Um, this glitch box is, it can be found under your combinator patches in the Reason Factory sound bank and um, the way it basically works, I, I really like the sound of it because it's got a lot of good sounds attached to it. Um, also, it uses a very unique way of setting things up. It's got a main mixer here, it's got a redrum here, and it's got all the sound sources down here in the NN, NN19 sampler. Um, what it's doing is it's sending the um, gate out triggers into the uh, mixer, into the level, and uh, controlling the level of it. And at the same time, it's got the NN19s, which has the LFO affecting the gate internally. So I thought this would be a pretty good setup to uh, to try out a different type of glitch box and kind of put my own spin on it. So I went ahead and did that. And I have this little puppy that I started over here, which you can change the LFO rate. You can select your different patterns. You can set up your sample length. You got your damage. So that's my own take on it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually recreate it. And uh, so let's set it up. We'll start off with a combinator. I will delete all the rotary fun and delete the button labels because I like to have a clean combinator when I set things up. Okay, so inside the combinator, let's first create a 14-2 mixer. I'm holding shift down so that I don't uh, create any routing. I'm also going to create a RV7000. Put that above the mixer. I'm going to create a redrum. Then I'm going to create a Thor. And I'm going to leave it like that. Um, select the mixer and create, uh, what am I going to create here? Create a scream device and don't hold shift down and what that's going to do is it's going to create an auxiliary. Um, remove the returns because we're not going to send the returns out there. We're going to create, we're going to select the scream, we're going to create um, a delay line, we're going to create another delay line and I'm going to take the outputs out and I'm going to take the input here and then I'm going to create, holding shift, I'm going to create another scream device. Okay. And I'm going to send the output through to the input here. And the output into the input. And then I'm going to hold this down, select that scream. I'm going to create two more delay lines. Okay. This input, this output is going to go into the left here. And then finally, these are going to go up to the returns. So there's your left, and there's your right. I think that's right. Okay. Now, let's turn this around. Uh, turn the damage down a little bit. Okay, let's see. We're going to have this be your digital, and this we will try the fuzz out a little bit. Let's just try that first. Gonna move this up a little. This I'll keep as is. Okay, I'm going to push the delays down to one, or rather two on here, and then we'll keep three up here. Okay, now pull down your levels on your mixers for four of them. I'm only going to create four on this one just to get things moving a little bit. Um, let's remove those. Now, in the Thor, what we're going to do, uh, let's just do a little bit of routing here. This Thor, the output, is going to go into the first channel. I'm just going to show you how this is kind of set up. The gate output is going to get sent to the level. And the level, let's see, we are going to, what else are we going to do? Yes, since the LFO2 is free running, we're going to have that sent to the gate for Thor. Okay, now if you run this, it should 
give you a sound. Let's choose a wavetable. And then let's just choose a random pattern. We're going to select pattern two. We're going to hit control R. We're going to do that for all eight patterns here, just to give ourselves a bit of a selection. Okay, now this means that should be running through. Turn here. Okay, and the master output for this mixer is going to go to the audio input, and then the output is going to go to your left and right channels. Okay, so now you can hear the actual oscillator. Okay, so now select Thor and duplicate the devices. We're going to do that three times. We're going to flip around, we're going to send these to their own channels in the mixer. Okay, we're going to select the redrum, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to send this level out to the level in. So now this pattern is actually going to be playing what you're hearing up here. So now what you can do is you can go in to each one of these. And you can create some changes. And you can even use a little bit can have some fun with this. Change the LFO to. Or actually, let's change this to be the mod envelope. And it's applying frequency FM. And then we can also have the mod envelope or the filter envelope affecting oscillator 1 position. And I'll have it reduce the position. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so now we've got some sounds coming out of it. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the amount of reverb. This is going to be our reverb. We'll open up the programmer, select the reverb, and for button 4, we're going to have the master dry wet set to 0 and 30. So now that'll turn the reverb on and off.